are looking at the applications folder uh, on that uh, that endpoint on that Mac, you'll see the uh, Mac agent folder, uh, and that is the end central agent itself. Uh, there's not a lot in there that you can actually interact with. So in the new preview agent, that's actually been moved into one of the uh, library folders under the um, the the system hierarchy, uh, as opposed to the uh, applications folder. So that part is moved into um, slash library slash end central agent or something like that. The other uh, the other folder there, MSP anywhere agent, that's actually the take control agent. So that's for remote um, remote access. And so that one is staying there, uh, at least for now, because that is a uh, uh, for one, it's optional install. So it, when it gets installed as uh, part of um, you know turning on that integration, you get the MSP Anywhere agent on that machine, and then the user opens it up so that they can then allow a technician to uh, connect to it or uh, to send um, log files or to configure access, that sort of thing. So those those two separate agents are both running on the machine if you have and central and take control. Uh, if you don't have take control installed um, or you don't have it enabled for whatever reason, you're using some other uh, remote access, then that MSP Anywhere, which is the, uh, I guess the old name or sort of the under the hood name for take control, um, then that uh, that app would not be there. So yes, there's the and central agent, which is the one that runs scripts and um, does all the monitoring and uh, handles uh, talking to the end central server. There's the MSP Anywhere agent, which is uh, running in the background and listening for remote connections uh, from take control. Uh, if you have uh, EDR turned on, you also have the Sentinel-1 agent. Uh, if you have backup, then there's a backup agent. Uh, so lots of things running um, quietly in the background, waiting for connections, waiting for commands from the server.